Hey guys, what is going on? It's been a while. How do you like my new look? My lockdown look. Anyway, here I am in North Finland in Lapland. The place is called Karigasniemi. That is Norway. The river is Teno, where I'm going to catch some big salmon tonight. And it's pretty cold out here today. It's like 8 degrees Celsius, 46-ish Fahrenheit. And I'm using my Unicoda 16 today which is running real high. Uh, it's a little windy, so I couldn't get more than four, 400 plus degrees in the middle, but that's okay. Uh, it's totally enough for, for baking a good pizza. And you gotta look at the bright side. Um, the weather keeps your beer nice and cold. By the way, I'm having a Hiki the Rake Limonada Pale from Villan Brewery. It's an excellent brewery from UK. Go check it out if you are a beer drinker. Anyway, let's start making the pizza. So what I've got here is um, dough, which I made yesterday. I've still got like five balls left here. I only used one yesterday. And this dough was actually cold proving full night here outside. I brought it back inside like three, four hours ago. And now it's nice and ready to go and the flour I used here was uh, Caputo Pizzeria and Caputo Nubala Super all right so let's start with putting some semola flour on the surface and in the box as well There we go, it's really nice and puff. It's a little cold, but you know, this dough's been inside for many hours, so it's not, it's not a problem at all. Now let's start forming the pizza. And the Unicoda 16 has been really good. Uh, I've used it now for maybe a um, couple of months. I've done close to 50, 50 cooks, 50 pizzas on it. And it works fine. All right, and look at that. It's pretty good looking dough. And the tomato sauce, we are uh, using Gusta Rosso San Marciano tomatoes, uh, some basil and salt. A little bit of olive oil as well, yeah, to give the flavor. Excellent smell. Uh, the basil give this nice herby flavor to it and uh, pizza we are gonna make today is duya uh, if you're not familiar with duya you should totally check it out it's from calabria italy this kind of uh, salami paste, little spicy, not too spicy though. Um, excellent stuff. I, I totally love this stuff. It's a little difficult to get here in Finland, but for example, myself, I bought it from Italy. Uh, it keeps well, especially if you freeze it, but even in, in the fridge, it keeps really well. And I want to be generous with it, like, I, I just like it so much. Obviously, if you don't like heat, um, it's not too hot, but you should be a little careful. Oh, look at that river. 
Then I've got um, mozzarella cheese here. Pretty dry. Dry mozzarella. Alright, I think that's it. Now, a little bit of that flour on the peel. It's windy here, so we just go. The pizza goes in and a little shaky shaky. Final stretch like this. And it's uni time. Now we will totally unify this pizza. There it goes. And I'm going to keep it like full whack all the time. Some people they put it a little, little lower, but I, I like I like the setting to be like totally high. Because so I've got this turning field so I can control where it's burning. And as you can see, or I don't know if you can see, I hope you can see something. It starts cooking like immediately. This is so powerful. Unicoda is real good pizza oven. Even though it's really windy like you can you can tell by the you can tell by the uh, movement of the flames but it's still cooking nice and it's only like one and a half two minutes max maybe in these conditions it's close to two minutes the bottom is already done now. Final touch on the top. And we are ready. That's it guys, look at the pizza. Looks pretty good. Beautiful. All right, guys. I think this is it for today. Um, I really, I try to, I try to put more videos on YouTube. I've been working on my Finnish channel called Recepti lately, so I apologize for any not uploading any videos lately. But I try to, I try to be a better person going forward. Okay. <laughs> so have a good one guys I will post some pictures when I get the salmon cheers